So the movie Knives Out, not even out yet, but good things are taking place with this already, it seems. What do we got going on, Brian? So Knives Out uh, premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. Mm. Uh, I don't want to say it was this past weekend. Mm. And it's getting pretty much universal acclaim from anybody, everybody that has seen it there. Um, not too many, like, even slightly negative words being said about it, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know, like, that I've... Not that this is going to be, like, the greatest movie ever made or anything like that, but I, you don't hear too much, of like, buzz coming out of a movie like that and then not hearing the negative side of it, too. At least the places that I've read. So, um, some pretty good talk about the movie coming out, about how enter- entertaining it is and how it keeps you guessing. Um, it's kind of like an Agatha Christie sort of uh, murder mystery. Murder, uh, she wrote. Yeah, kind, kind of a movie like that. Similar, similar, I guess, in ways to Netflix's murder mystery, but I guess a million times better. <laughs> Here's hoping. Um, but uh, and it has Daniel Craig in it. He is a detective, kind of like uh, I don't know, Detective Clouseau or Detective whoever. Like it's in Murder on the Orient Express. I can't remember what his it's name Columbo, is. Columbo, man. He's like or Columbo. Or Columbo. <laughs> um, He's like Columbo. He's going around with a big stogie. And so people were already asking uh, Ryan Johnson, the director, about how he would feel about continuing these movies. And not necessarily a direct sequel to this film, but um, following Daniel Craig's character as a as a uh, detective and having like more murder mysteries and fun things like that, similar to like what Ag- Agatha Christie did in all her you know, hundred novels or however many she wrote. Um, so I throw that question to you guys, not having even seen the movie but hearing the hearing the buzz around it and would you like to have something like like a modern day ongoing detective series where you have this guy who's kind of Sherlock Holmesy in a way and having all these original um murder mystery like really twisty fun murder mystery movies i i think what you said right there at the very end is the key to this whole thing Brian and that word is original this is a new take on something. This is not based off of anything else. This is, this is you know, some new ideas being pushed out there. And so I think anytime you can have something new in Hollywood, I like it. And even if they're, they're quote unquote sequels because it's the same character, Daniel Craig's uh, detective character doing what he's doing, it's not necessarily going to be a sequel to where they tie in in any way, shape, or form. You know, it, it's new cast, new whatever, new new storyline. It just happens to have this character, this detective, who's the same detective solving the problem. And I'm okay with that, you know? Um, so this whole original concept to me is perfect. And, and if this movie's as good as everybody says it is, um, then I, I'm all for it. You know, I will say one thing um, that I have been reading in regards to this, and this is this is one of the problems that I have with people in general, um, is that I have read so many comments about, oh, well, it's Ryan Johnson and he sucked at Star Wars. So obviously this movie's going to suck, too. And I hate everything about him. And it's like, shut up. Stop it. Stop it. First off, that Star Wars wasn't terrible, may not be you know, the best one that you, th- that you saw, but that's like saying that a certain pizza is not great. I mean, it's pizza. All pizza is great. So mm. don't start with me. Don't start <laughs> with me. That, that That's not a debatable thing. Different topics. So to me, you know, who cares if, if this, if you didn't particularly like that star Wars movie, that doesn't mean that everything Ryan Johnson does is terrible. I mean, it, th- shut up. Just accept that this might be a good movie and go see it. It's different. It's not Star Wars. It's nothing like Star Wars. It's nothing at all like it. So there's go see the movie. Star Wars fans that are that do that are there's some kind of irrational hatred of him because of that movie that I don't think that will ever go away. And it and it just kind of I mean those fans are pretty much you know they're the same people that chase <laughs> Daisy violent. Ridley and Kelly. M- Kelly Marie Tran off of social media and stuff like that because they're nasty and don't have a don't have the time to say one nice thing about anything that they've seen apparently so yeah I mean I'm kind of with you on that one like even if I didn't like The Last Jedi I don't think I would be like that I would hope that I would not be like that but I 
I've been watching Star Wars movies again, like recently, just kind of I'm in like a Star Wars mood. And I watched Last mm-hmm. Jedi again recently, and every time I, I watch that movie, I think I like it more. Um, because I think of I think about the themes and how it ties into like the overall Star Wars, you know, lore and the overall themes of the Star Wars franchise itself. And it just kind of fits so well to me that it it just makes me sad that people don't like it as much as they do. But um so this this particular thing though, Knives Out, I've been so looking forward to this. And I think we've mentioned it in previous shows and when the trailer came out I I mentioned it, but I'm so down for this, even though I think it has about a zero percent chance of happening. Yeah, I got a chance to see the preview in the theater this weekend again for it. And you know, it, it really just looks like a super interesting movie and I'm really hopeful and feel positive about it that you know it looks really good and based on the response that it's getting that's to me a good sign that there's a good chance this could become you know a a franchise of some sorts but a lot of it depends on you know what it actually does you know it could be a great movie but if nobody goes to see it that's another thing like it could get a lot of buzz there's plenty of movies that you know we've talked about before that are oscar worthy and you know, fabulous uh, cinematics, but people don't watch them. This you know, is this just is a, a case where hopefully they do. It's such a unique thing right now. There's no other movie right now that's a murder mystery. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's not murder mystery, but that was terrible. Well, I think, but that's different. Like, I don't even count that in in this in this world. But that was like a comedy. Because this is a ser- exactly. Yeah. This you is know, this a, is this is a legit. Uh, and and there are comedic parts, and I know there are some comedic undertones to it, but it's not a comedy. They are remaking or or making new some of the like the Murder on the Orient Express they just yeah. did, and then they're yeah, doing they did that. they're doing Death on the Nile or whatever, which is another of of that character. And I wish I could remember the the inspectors. Kenneth Branagh plays them in these yeah, new yeah, movies with the crazy mustache, but uh, Hercule yeah. Poirot or something like that. I can't. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but. Um, so they're that franchise is the only other one that I know that they're doing it, but they're also adapting previously, previously made works. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's not like a new mystery or anything like that. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I just think this is unique, and and I'm excited for it. I like it. I like it, and and I'm I'm hoping it does well. So, so we'll see. You, when does you, it come out again? Uh, Good November, soon, I, think, right? I think. Yeah, but yeah, um, think so. do you guys think? this would even happen considering Ryan Johnson's doing his own star Wars trilogy after this. And who knows if he's going to want to return to this world. I mean, it depends and... on timing. Cause remember the star Wars movies, they are going to be staggering them between the avatar movies. So they're going to have a longer runway. There's going to be more time in between. Those aren't necessarily a lot of those even movies, his either. Those might be they, the Benioff and Weiss ones. Not you know, exactly. they shoot. Yeah. They, they shoot them, you know, and then there's months of graphic and, cgi work that has to happen so in between you know whatever you know there's probably some time for him to do something of this nature which these movies don't seem to me like they would take necessarily you know this one is it's all like in a mansion so like you could do that you know without having to go locations and do a lot of craziness he perhaps did so. just form his own production company with his longtime producer like best yeah. friend guy so i mean that could lead to something too i yeah I don't know. And if he takes like more of a um, a writer producer kind of role in it and not necessarily direct mm-hmm. some things or whatever. But yeah. yeah, so that's an interesting wrinkle, too. I, I just remember that he he started his own company there. So I don't know. All right. Let's see. Well, it I, November 27th is when uh, Knives Out comes out, and we look forward to reviewing that one for yes. you and seeing what uh, what comes up with it. And staying off the Internet until then, because it premiered at the film festival, like I just said, and it's it's only September. So we got, you know, almost two months because yeah. from what I hear, it is very twisty and very hard to predict. And if you just kind of like let yourself, you know, go with the flow instead of trying to like out guess the characters or whatever and that everyone in the audience was like not knowing where it was going at all so avoiding anything about it it's probably the best way to to go it was jamie it. it was jamie lee curtis you think that's so? just that's just what i'm calling right now it jamie was all lee it was it's just a remake of murder on the orient express it was all of them <laughs> they all did it i will never see wow bro wow 
It's a well, don't have to. classic, very that. old. I, I, I think it's that. probably out in what public domain or whatever, so anybody can make that. But 